Hey, what's up? First thing I'd like to say is thanks for hitting the link and watching this video. It took time and effort to make this. Really do appreciate that. Also, if you don't mind, can you hit that like and subscribe? Hitting the like don't hurt none. You can hit it right before you see the video. Don't worry, you will be satisfied. Also, we're trying to get some new things going on in this channel and to do that, I need new equipment. And to do that, it really help if you could give some kind of donation. If you can't, it's cool. It is what it is. We still appreciate your presence here. If you can, that would be very nice and link is in the description. Anyway, right now, let's get to our regularly scheduled program. BBN, Jack Frost speaking. First thing I want to do is say how much I appreciate everybody that subscribes to this channel and also the notification gang. If it wasn't for y'all, I, I wouldn't still be doing this. Like, keep it facts. I mean, at this point, as of making this video, I got about, there's about 653 of us. And uh, I really do appreciate y'all guys. Y'all guys are the best. Especially the ones that hit that, that like button as soon as the video start. Y'all guys are really the best. Y'all guys are the greatest. It needs, needs fireworks for that. Anyway, so um, we have uh, Freddie Roach that wants an investigation into the, the Pacquiao uh, match and the judges. And I'm, I'm with him on this. That makes perfectly good sense to me. I mean, there was tons of stuff going on in the match, but let's just cover one thing at a time. First, you can't land more than 100 more punches than the other guy, not get knocked down at all through the course of the match. It go the distance and lose. This is just, this is unheard of. This is just unheard of. The only time that this is probably actually have been heard of is when there actually has been some malfeasance involved. <laughs> this is unheard of. This is crazy. You land a hundred more punches than the guy you're going against. Also, you never get knocked down. Also, there's a round that he's absolutely in trouble and it's definitely a 10-8 round. And he still wins. And one judge scores it 117 to 111. So... There's obviously some stuff going on there. So asking for there to be an investigation is it's the next place you go with this, period. Um, this just period. Like anybody that wants to act like there shouldn't be an investigation that should be taking place. I don't know what to say. I don't I don't want to take their credibility into into a uh, question. But, you know, I just don't know what to say. And then also you got to think about um, in addition to all of that. Um, Jeff Horn was throwing some vicious head bunts. Like, really? Like, and the judge was allowing it. The judge was just allowing it. Okay, we had a fight a while back where Sean Porter was head bunting the crap out of Birdo. Just head bunting him. And it was, but that was just a different type of fight. Like, both of those guys was fighting on the inside. How you gonna be the guy headbunting the other dude and you fighting on the outside most of the fight? I mean, because to fight Manny Pacquiao, you have to either be on the outside or on the inside. You can't fight at mid range because that's where Manny Pacquiao likes to fight. He likes to might fight mid range. It's allowed for his strikes. He got short arms, and he's quick. So um, you're fighting on the outside, but you're you're still headbunting the guy, like and holding the guy and elbowing the guy, and this stuff was happening. I mean, I'm not just saying it. They're not just saying it. These things were actually happening. <laughs> it's just crazy. So they're talking about going into an investigation. And um, the Waleska lady, she needs to... They shouldn't even allow her into a, an arena where boxing takes place, even if there's another sport happening at the moment. Like, if, if her grandkids ever get into, like... Or her kids or some relative of hers ever get into like the WNBA or some European women's league or even, you know, a male relative of hers get becomes some kind of like MMA star. She should not be allowed to be in the arena, like all the way. They should just be like, Waleska, yeah. And then like point to the wall where her picture is. No go. And then like turn her around like immediately. That was just crazy. I don't even know if she should be derived in a footlocker to be obvious with you. Yeah, they got the fireworks going off. It is the 4th of July. Fireworks. And I'm inside making videos. Y'all guys got to appreciate the determination and dedication. Anyway, so, um, yeah. So this Gwaleska chick. Like, what's going on with her? Like, seriously. They should. She shouldn't even be able to. She, she shouldn't even be allowed to wear shirts 
that got white and black stripes on them. Like she should. <laughs> it's like a ton of other things I'm thinking also, but I'm just gonna let that go. Seriously though, they need to keep her as far away from any kind of sporting. She shouldn't even be allowed to be in the gym with like the where people are playing pickup basketball at. Like seriously, we need to we need to get a picture of this lady and just put po- post it everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. She should not even be allowed to wear sneakers. Anyway, so the point being is they're gonna uh I don't know what they're gonna do. I think they need to do an investigation because this it's obvious that they so uh okay, we're past all of that. They need to do an investigation. There's not gonna be an investigation because there's obviously with some big wigs involved in this. But Bob Arum has taken the opposing side of Manny Pacquiao on this. Look, let's just keep it a buck. The reason why all of this is happening because Manny Pacquiao refused to fight Terrence Crawford about like two years ago. It was like a year and a half, two years ago. He refused to fight Terrence Crawford. It was time for him to give that belt up. What he should have just did was not even... He should have... First of all, he should have just retired. Like, the whole... See, this is what happened. The whole thing happened with Mayweather. He was probably thinking... After the Mayweather fight, they were going to get two fights, right? Before the Mayweather fight happened. Then the Mayweather fight happened. Nobody want to see that shit. Let's be honest. Manny Pacquiao is scared to engage. Mayweather don't want no parts of it because how are you going to tell me the guy that's, that's supposed to be such a killer and so aggressive and he's not bringing the fight to me, but you want to blame me for the fight being weak? You know what? Why don't you stay over there? I'm not even fighting against you. And then Pacquiao, after the fight, insisted that he thought he won. And then, after that, you got all these morons that's talking about slow the fight down. <laughs> so, there was just too much going on. It's just, it just, it does, it doesn't do Mayweather any benefit to get involved in. And I'm not getting involved in none of those shenanigans. Y'all guys got that stuff going on over there. Y'all keep it over there. I'm going to go fight Berto. How about that? I'm going to give him a payday. How about that? And so that was it for uh, Manny Pacquiao and um, Mayweather. And if I was Mayweather, I still wouldn't fight Manny Pacquiao. He needed this fight to get to the Mayweather fight. And hopefully Mayweather's having a tune-up against um, McGregor. This was his tune-up. And what happened? He ended up losing. I think he won. But Bob Arum's not stupid. Bob Arum's not stupid. And that's crazy, too, because that means his belt wasn't even on the line against Mayweather. Right? That's what that mean, right? He doesn't even put his WBO on the line. <laughs> they needed to get that belt away from him, man. He was just having the belt. He wasn't even using it. Anyway, um, so y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Did there really be an investigation? Do you think the fight was dirty? Um, that's I want to know those two things in particular. I think the fight was dirty. I was looking at the fight. I was just like, damn, like, really? This is happening? And then if you notice... uh. Pacquiao was consistently smiling. You know what I'm saying? He's not smiling because he's like, I got the best of you. He's smiling because he know the bullshit is happening. You know, there's the ref's not getting involved. The ref's not breaking it up. The ref is letting all types of like foolishness go on. The dude Horn is just... He, it's not as much as I think Horn is a dirty fighter as Horn isn't as experienced as a lot of fighters. So since he's bigger, he's going to maul. So, if Horn's fighting somebody like Sean Porter, he's not going to be able to do that to Sean Porter because Sean Porter's bigger. If Horn is fighting somebody like Kell Brook, he's not going to be able to do that to Kell Brook. But he was fighting little Manny Pacquiao, so he was able to maul him and do all that dirty shit to him. It's just I think that that's just where it just fell in line with, and that's it. Um... So y'all let me uh, y'all let me know. Leave the comments down below. I want to know. I want to know. Do y'all think there should be an investigation? Not. Do you think he got cheated? That's a different question. You might think he didn't get cheated, but like, yo, let, let's be as an investigation so they could prove that he didn't get cheated and shut all y'all, you know, shut everybody up. So do y'all think there should be an investigation? Also, do you think Horn was fighting dirty? I want to know. Do you, like, what, and, and should Manny let this go? Like, you know, I, I personally don't think there should be a rematch. I think that Manny should just... Walk away with as much dignity as he possibly can at this point. Because if he doesn't knock him out in a rematch, a similar thing is going to happen. That's just it. I mean, come on now. He, short, he fought freaking um, Tim Bradley like four times, four or five times. He fought Juan, Mar- Juan Manuel Marquez number four or five times. He's, he's got almost ten fights against two dudes. I mean, you can't, you can't, 
you know, he's he he's been choosing his fighters this whole time. You know, or they've been choosing the fighters for him and it's, it's consistently been a, a little group of people. So, um that's another thing that killed me when people talk about uh, Mayweather's ducking. This guy's been fighting two dudes most of his career. What are you talking about? Anyway, so um, let me know what y'all think. First comment, do you think that there should be an investigation? Second comments, do you think that uh, Horn was, you know, fighting dirty? So uh, leave the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you ain't hit that bell yet. Stop playing yourself. Don't forget the hashtag Bronx Bombers. If you made it to the end of this vid, hashtag Bronx Bombers. Share, share, share. That's all I got for you. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.